Hi, welcome to the overall weekly reading for February 17th to the 24th, Sunday to Sunday. And I always pay attention to my feelings um, that arise in my body while I'm shuffling the cards and waiting for the cards to leap out. And I felt something in my stomach. I didn't know if it was nerves or excitement. I couldn't decipher from the two, but I knew next week um, either a lot's happening that we have a lot riding on that we're nervous about or excited about or um, something in the solar plexus like reminding me of butterflies, you know, kind of like nervousness. Um, so I didn't know if it was for good or for bad, but just something that's going to make us have like butterflies in our stomach. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. But then I, the, I waited for the tarot cards to fly out. So I have tarot cards and I have more than usual because I wanted to get clarification because some of the cards I was like, well, what the heck does that mean? And then I pulled um, the energy which clarified, you know, the energy that's around us. So this is for all signs. Let me start before, let me take the clarifiers off and I'll lift the cards for you. And you'll see why I want to clarify yours. Because at first we have the Five of Raphael. And this is the Five of Cups. And this is like, it's not really working out. <laughs> um, you know, um, the card itself says everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Things may not have been um, recently working out. Um, we have spilled cups here. It didn't work out the way that we wanted to. And look, in the background there are sirens. Uh, going by where I feel like that's alerting that something almost hurt us or didn't work out as we wanted and we were hurt by what happened in the past and we're trying to move on from that and then we have the five of Gabriel Gabriel which is the five of wands which is not a fabulous card either because that looks like battles or things not working out with others that there's um, some conflicts going on with others and the card itself also says a challenge you can resolve withdraw from the drama of others we got this last week have patience with yourself and those around you so with these two fives which is things not really working out smoothly that's the overall uh energy of both cards whether it's with projects you're working on with other people and what your goals are deep within your heart so i wanted to clarify that and because not only that then we got the three of michael which is sword energy in the heart so it's like these three cards, it's, um, you know, this is sorrow, disappointment, probably from projects with others not working out very well, and some things that hurt your heart was disappointing to your heart um, involving these projects. And here it says, release the past, you will grow from the situation, time heals all wounds. I think it's with whatever you're trying to work out with other people, it's not going, I clarified it. Okay, so don't worry so much of this. I was like, what is this talking about? What is this even referring to? And we got the Eight of Ariel. So it shows that you're working really hard to accomplish something with others. And this landed right on top of here where it's almost like, don't give up. You're going to be working very hard to make this work, to get through these conflicts, to get through whatever disappointed you in the past, whatever... Um, was causing these conflicts with others that was causing some hurt and disappointment in what you're trying to accomplish you're going to be working really hard to rectify those conflicts to rectify um you're going to just be working really hard to resolve this and then look at this we have the ace of michael i mean this is what you want i got goosebumps i was like thank goodness all is not lost ace of michael a wonderful new idea this is really um ace of swords it's a wonderful new idea don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress clear up communication problems with others so this tells me that you're working really hard and this line right here just hold on to this next week don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. I think that is really important to hold on to that sentence next week and to realize, clear up any communication problems with others. Communication, your clear communication will probably be the key in rectifying any of these disagreements, any of these conflicts, anything that you're trying to work out with others with your projects or work projects next week. Um, that could have led to some disappointments or some conflicts here that disappointed you. Work really hard. Just keep going. I mean, this even says take great pride. You're excellent work. You're working really hard. Take pride in your work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. I don't really pay attention to that. It's just continue to work hard. Continue to work hard at this. Forgive and release as quick as it happens any kind of disappointment or what's not working out. And remember this Ace of Michael, this Ace of Swords, this clarity in work remaining 
working very hard and remember do not allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress just you know have clear communication and work this all out um, our crowning cards kind of sum up what's happening here Nine of Gabriel is that fact that you have worked really hard. I mean, look behind him. It's all these seeds have been planted. You're standing up for yourself and protecting what you've worked so hard on is what I take from this card. And so it's remaining firm and um, backing up all you have worked on. You know what I mean? Like stand up and protect all you've worked on. Don't back down. And it says here, stay determined, move forward, be prepared for any possibility. Um, this is kind of this too. It's like stay determined and move forward. It's do not allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Just keep going. And um, then we have the Seven of Raphael, which is the Seven of Cups, and it talks about decisions that need to be made. And here, there's a page of Michael. So something new could be coming in, a new truth, a new idea, something um, that will help you uh, with being done with this project. Do you know what I mean? You'll be making some decisions here um, that will be bringing in new perceptions that will help with your goals next week. And it says an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. I think this is the key thing is no matter what happens next week, whatever you're trying to work out with other people, whatever, you know, it might be a little disappointing at first or you might have to change direction or continue to work hard on something. Um, Stand up for yourself and protect your interests and what you've worked hard for. Make those decisions that lead you forward. This is, it keeps three cards now have talked about, like, you have what it takes to succeed. So just keep going. And what's really interesting is the overall energy totally clarifies this reading even more to have faith and just keep going with what you're doing. Because... We have the man holding a coin, which is fabulous when it comes to projects in the material. This shows that there's a man holding a coin. Either you're going to be holding a coin, a man in business is going to be giving you a coin. This is going to be fruitful. Look at this coin. This coin is going to be at the end of your efforts. Um, so it's not all in vain to work this out and go through this journey. And then here we have patience. And But you know what's interesting? Look at what she's holding. It looks like a coin, right? I mean, that's really bizarre, and that's only putting an explanation point that um, this person holding a coin is giving you the coin, and you were right to be patient. You know what I mean? At the end, being patient, working through all these conflicts, or working through um, what setbacks or anything, remaining patient, you are granted this coin. And that's what I really feel from this. So whatever happens next week, it's all worth it. Definitely hang in there is what I'm feeling. And um, there might be times where it's a little nerve wracking or something because of the butterflies in my stomach. Um, you know, whatever. Just work it through and keep going. I have clear communication. And um, the most important part through this whole thing, and I really do want to stress this in the do not allow any bumps in the road to hinder your progress because remember at the end there's a man holding a coin and you are holding the coin at the end with this patience so it's going to work in your favor if you remain patient and work out leave all the you know hurt disappointment everything on the back it will just walk away from that and just keep going forward with your working hard um it's gonna pay off it will just have patience and it's worth working it out any kind of conflicts or anything um, with other people through this five energy whether it's five of wands or five of cups just it's worth it just work at it and um, don't allow any bumps in the road to deter you from your overall goal and you'll be successful you will be successful man holding coin and patience Let's get some goddess guidance advice because I feel we are going to need it. Let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. See, there might be some bumps in the road. Literally, I just knocked the camera. So sorry about that. I feel like we're going to have to make sure we're balanced <laughs> and make sure we know what we're doing. And uh, get right back on track if anything comes in to knock you off. Just hold your goals in your mind and... Uh, don't be so rocked by anything that happens. 
don't allow any literal bumps in the road to where you are. I like that. I kind of like that that just happens in real time. <laughs> okay, so let's get some goddess guidance for next week. What we can, 17th to the 24th, what we need to keep them up. Okay, two of them. Oh, wow. Okay, so the first one is receptivity. Oh, sorry, the sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Yeah. Um, sorry, it's kind of there. It's focused. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Um, I think no matter what's going on, I almost feel like in this reading, like she's surrounded by all these things. I know this is a positive thing with lights and candles, but it looks like also swirls of energy around her. And she has to... Um, Create some sacred space and look in some, oh my, that almost looked like a coin to me too. It's like, um, for this reading, I'm just intuitively picking up, remain in your heart what you want to accomplish. Like say this is your pentacle in your heart that you're striving for and you're going for it and you're following divine guidance or the light. Just remain, create some sacred space when you need it because that will help you get your balance. If anything, um, any of these conflicts or anything you have to work out with other people, um, you know, take a moment, pull some tarot cards or oracle cards or take a bath or a shower or um, go exercise or, you know, whatever you need, create that sacred space for yourself because you might need some divine time just for yourself to get focused, align with your inner goals here and follow your own vision of what you want to accomplish and don't let anything else swirls around you um sway you off that like kind of regroup recenter and find your own sacred space within too and then here we have oh, i love this card receptivity and see the flow oh this is a fabulous card allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition energy and ability to give to others yeah, no matter what, create that sacred space and be open to receive. And look, this man with the coin is coming in. Have patience. Um, and also this page of Michael is receiving as well. So you could be on the receiving end. Just hang in there next week. Um, you could really be on the receiving end. It will all be worth it, working out whatever you need to work out. Is there anything else? Let's see if there's any other goddess guidance here for us. If not, I'll pull some, maybe some ooh, mystical wisdom. I feel like we need all the additional help we need because, yeah, let me pull some mystical wisdom because I feel like um, there are going to be some things to work out next week. So let's see, mystical wisdom. I love these cards. Just keep working out whatever you're working out. And allow yourself some sacred space and get in that mode of allowing yourself to receive. Okay, it's ready. This is for the 17th to the 24th in Mystical Wisdom as we try and accomplish what we need to accomplish. Okay, I knew it wanted to say something. Oh my gosh, fabulous. Angel of Miracles. Yes, hold on to that. Open your heart and expect a miracle. Well, I love that because it's showing with this patience and expect a miracle. I'm actually just going to stop there because I think that everything we're doing is not in vain and expect a miracle because um, Angel of Miracles is around and so we're going to be, um, we're going to be blessed at the end of this. Just have patience. I really think this patience is the key as well and don't let any bumps in the road sway you and if you feel a little swayed get back to that sacred space so you can get back into that mode of receptivity let's pick some um self-love as well to get through this and like how to remain clear and in this mode of getting through these bumps in the road and just keep going um what kind of self-love, self-care we can do next week. I love these cards as well. I feel like we're going to have to just be calm and cool and clear. And remember our, our solar plexus power almost. Like, 
because I was feeling all these butterflies in my stomach. It's almost like have faith and trust. You can work out whatever is going on next week to your, um, you can work it through it. It will all work out. Like there's no need to have butterflies in your stomach about it. Ooh. Oh, jeez. I don't know if those intended to come out. So hold on a second. If it does, it's uh, it will come out again. Hold on a second. Ooh. Oh my. Oh, we're getting rest. Oh my gosh. Divine timing is always spot on. Let go of your need to control and take a break. Yeah, it might be that we're trying to accomplish too much. And there actually this rest is not everything is for you to do. And other people have to do their part too. So when you're finished doing your part, rest. Um, don't try to over control or try to control all the pieces that actually somebody else has to pick up and do. Um, and also get some more rest and sleep, which will only help and create some sacred space, some time, time out from working so hard. And make sure you get good sleep and just rest in between because you'll come back, of course, more rejuvenated and centered, which will only help, you know, moving forward next week. But don't forget to take care of yourself because rest and sleep is so important. Let's see. And more self-love. And sometimes when we're working so hard, it feels like there's not enough hours or minutes in the day. And despite that, we still need to have time, sacred space for ourselves, rest, um, no matter what. No matter how many directions we're being pulled, how many things people need. Oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, I'll pick. break free. It is time, again, to break free from feeling trapped by your past actions and the judgments of others. You can discard what no longer works for you. Move quickly. Some opportunities require quick responses. Use your instincts and don't be afraid to move fast on your hunches. There might be some things coming in that you're actually going to be able to break through. This is kind of like what I'm thinking. This break free is breaking free of these conflicts back here. The five energy of um, things, maybe, you know, challenges with other people, conflicts, things that you're going to have to let go of and break free of with other people. Um, and then move quickly in a different direction or in a different way after speaking with them or working things out. So um, there could be some you know, breaking free of what was, I don't know, causing conflict with other people I'm thinking of. And then something could be, and this could be the page of Michael that's coming in, where there might be things coming in next week that you're going to move quickly on um, that could result in this man holding a coin that was worth having patience for. Um, so I'm thinking, and also the patience, maybe things have come from to a rest and now are breaking free and moving quickly. Do you know what I mean? Let's see if we can get one more crowning energy for us. But it's a really weird energy next week. Ooh, I'm picking up. Ah, evolve. I love this card. You are allowed to grow and to change your mind. Your attitudes and beliefs become stronger, lighter, and happier. The right people will celebrate these changes with you. Yeah, so you're going to be a changing things up, breaking free from things and moving quickly with people. It, your Things could really evolve next week is what I'm thinking. And almost um, on top of the breaking free, it's like you could be releasing a lot that was holding you back or holding you down with other people and you're letting that go and moving higher and lighter next week. Um, so you could be breaking free of things that might have been holding you down energetically, if that makes sense, and moving quickly in another direction um, that's resolving these five energy that was holding you back a little bit. You might be letting go of someone or something or a project that was kind of stagnant or draining you energetically, and something else could possibly be moving in that has you moving quickly in a whole new direction. Um, that could possibly be it. Definitely there is forward movement next week and it is resulting with this man holding a coin and having patience. So in the end, this was all worth it. There are just some things to work out. So whether it's working it out with people, the same people working out different agreements or working out things and it's all of a sudden now moving 
forward and your patience is rewarded with coins, or you're completely breaking free of people who were holding you back energetically and moving with other people who are now moving quickly and giving you the man holding a coin and patience. But either way, again, the crowning cards were you're standing up and protecting everything you've worked for. You're making those choices and decisions that's leading to new clarity and new challenges and new ideas and um, it's resulting in this. So hang in there next week. I don't know. I mean, it's, um, I think things, maybe that's what I was feeling in my stomach too, is that things could be moving forward quickly. Um, it's resulting in this. It could be very exciting. And maybe that's leaving behind any kind of conflicts or hardships that were in the past. Um, so it could just primarily be a result of past things that happened. Or this week there could be some bumps in the road uh, from the 17th to the 24th. But you're not supposed to let that interrupt your flow. And either way, this is the end result man holding coin and your patience was worth it because the coin is in your hands so beautiful beautiful end result so i hope this was helpful and i am going to do a mind body soul reading also i'll uh, post that on my channel too hope you have a fabulous week and take care bye bye